everyone, and welcome to another IA Unboxed Cast. My name is Michael Doeys, and I'm here with Aaliyah Dudley. Hello. And Jason Earls. Hello, everyone. Uh, I think it's safe to say this is our typical Unboxed Cast crowd. <laughs> right. Uh, as y'all know, if y'all have heard any of our other unboxings, these are pretty relatively open-ended uh, podcasts where, you know, we kind of keep it light and conversational uh, because we are we are unboxing new tech light and, and it's one of the most exciting what's that light and fluffy, fluffy. light and airy unlike what is he getting a box of nifflers <laughs> <laughs> i was about to say unlike the weight of the box he has in there right so yeah we, we keep it pretty conversational as demonstrated now uh <laughs> today i am unboxing something really cool. I got to see a presentation at the NFB conference this past summer on from Amazon about different things and one of those was their new Fire uh, TV edition of the uh, Element Electronics TVs. This past Friday their 50 inch TV was on sale and so I said you know what it's the same price as the 43 inch I'd be stupid not to pick this up. So I did. It arrived today and I just was amazed at the size of this box. It's really a huge TV. Like, I thought it would be, I knew it would be bigger than my 40 inch. But I think it's about five feet long. This thing is huge. I so, doubt the TV is quite as big as the box. Oh yeah, and there probably is another box inside this uh, uh, bigger shipping box. But what the nice thing about this TV and the reason why I got it is because it has a Fire OS and uh, all that built in with Voice View as uh, as well. So, um, do y'all have any questions or comments before I start opening this thing up? I have one question. Why are you stopping and asking for questions? Can you just open the box already? Okay. Well, y'all heard the lady. <laughs> I have my trusty knife here. I'm gonna bring the mic, I mean the uh, box closer to the microphone because of reasons. Yes, yeah, so everybody, you need to ensure that you're wearing headphones for on box casts for a true immersive experience. Right, we do our unbox casts. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. Like. Every unbox cast we're doing from now on is recorded in binaural. For yep. those of us that have the microphones anyway. Right. So I'm serious when I say listen with headphones. It's really cool. This box is so far that I might actually have to get the extender for this headset. Because <laughs> uh, getting from one side of the box to the other. Yeah, you won't have the box for very long. It'll be okay. This is true. So if somebody gets one of these TVs as a gift, does that mean they have the element of surprise? Ah. Depends on whether the other person told them they were getting the TV. I just had to go there. And this TV looks... From what I could see online, it's really nice. It's a 4K TV. Uh, Michael's going to be buying the Apple TV 4K. Now. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Oh, that's coming. I almost said Apple Not TV. Not right now. The Michael TV 4K now. Oh my god. Are there bubbles? These are not bubbles. These are, are they those well, air they're pillows? bubbles. They're bubbles. They're not even air pillows. They it is bubble wrap. Let me confirm that. Are we gonna but have a section of these popping at all? They are mega bubbles. Like you have to pop they them. are huge. Like huge 
because we're all I nerds here. Yeah, you totally have to like, pop on another podcast. Podcast. And we, <laughs> and we like bubbles and everything tech and weird and nerdy. Uh, once I get this box open, I will pop one of these bubbles. And yes, it's recorded. I accidentally called it a podcast. How much was this, Michael? With the sale price? I got this on sale for four forty nine. It is usually uh five fifty, five forty nine. Open it already. See, if we didn't already have a TV, I would seriously consider this just because it has um, voice view on it. This is one of the bubbles that don't pop. Really? Weak. What if you step on it? Or does it just go flat? They have distributed air pockets. Oh. And so when you push on one, the air goes oh, makes it's the one other of those. around it bigger. You suck, Amazon. I mean, you don't suck, Amazon, but... Yeah, let's, let's not go on record saying that Amazon sucks. Uh, <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, so the box The fact is that open. you don't have proper bubble wrap sucks. And guys, Is that just like the plastic shrink wrap guys, stuff around the TV? I have news for y'all. This, uh, no, the TV's in a box. Okay. I was about to say, I think the TV is the size of. No, because it would oh. be a 50 inch yeah. TV if it were 5 feet long. It would be 60. Right. You're like sliding us around instead of the box. It's AR, guys. Audio reality. He's lifting it out. It is being removed from the shipping container. One inch at a time. This is really a two man project. He's waking for it. He's waking for it. You can hear him. We promised, guys, this is an unbox cast, not one of those ASMR things. ASMR? Yeah, I don't remember the acronym, but it's it's basically like these things you can find on YouTube. A lot of them in, are in binaural. And they have, like, people messing with paper or whatever. It's supposed to be, like, some kind of, like, stimulation thing. Okay. The TV is out of the box. Well, out of a box. I feel like I'm listening to people opening Christmas presents or something right. almost. And I, um, like, because of that, I'm now jealous. I want one too! You know, there's so much bubble wrap. They don't want you to break <laughs> this box. TV. 
Is that what all that is? And all this stuff that you're hearing is bubbles. But you can't even pop. That's depressing. Well, I think that's tape. Yeah, obviously. Right. But now it really sounds like a Christmas present. We had Christmas already. We had an apple Christmas. It might have been a bit of a spoiled apple Christmas, but it was an apple Christmas. Yeah. Santa Jobs did not <sighs> deliver what Santa what Jobs. Old Saint Cook. I was going for cool sounding and it sounded better in my head. Actually, I kind of like Old Saint Cook. It's insanely great. <laughs> that was a terrible impression, but that's okay. The category. Aww. I promise, guys, Michael's not unboxing a cat. That's my cat. <laughs> The cat was in mono. That's true. You know, I don't think I've actually done an unbox cast of my own yet. Aside from that failed attempt with the Andrea thing. Which, by the way, is what Michael and Aaliyah are using. They are using, um, for those of you who might be interested, Andrea 3D recording cans. I think I got that right, didn't I? Andrea Communication, specifically. Um, they're no longer being manufactured and are being sold on Amazon for pretty cheap. Yeah. They do have a bit of a noise floor, but... I mean, for stuff like this, they work well because it's being masked. But they're cool because you can you know, record stuff on your Victor Reader streams. All Michael got in that box was bubble. <laughs> was bubble wrap? <laughs> and the TV yeah, it's bubble wrap and, and potatoes. The size of a portable DVD player. Oh my god, that would be <laughs> terrible but funny. 50 centimeters instead of 50 inches. Yeah. You know, these headphones are good enough that I almost feel like I'm the one doing all this work and I feel exhausted just sitting here. Right. I'm not getting did any calories for this watch. Pop, uh, popcorn? Why did I just say popcorn? <laughs> did you actually uncover a box? Yes. There is a box under this mess. it open. Yes. Yes, I'm removing the final barriers. Watch there be a bunch of like packing foam and stuff inside the box. Right. Ah, Michael just spun around. <laughs> nope. I am just leaning to the left. Oh, wait, your air conditioner sounded like it went from the left to the right. It would if Michael was leaning to the left. And we now have the TV opened. Woo. It's either going to so, be a bunch of packing foam or a giant bag. There is packing foam in here. In a box. It, which isn't within a box, which is within a box. 
So, so that people know, I am actually upgrading from a 40 inch Samsung TV. And this puppy is the biggest TV I've owned. So I found a manual. Who needs those? You never know. They uh, may have cards Voice view gift information. cards in them. Gift cards? What? Yeah, you know, you never know. Some manuals may have uh, gift cards for different services and stuff, so it's good to hold, keep those around. I found the remote control for it. Which sounds like it's in a plastic baggie. It is. Wow, there's an uh, actual buttons for Prime Video, Netflix, and one other that I can't read. Wow. Hmm. There's not even channel buttons on here. Interesting. There is a a person button, the power button, uh, a back, home, and a apps button, so like almost like Google. How tactile are they? Or do you not have it completely out of the bag yet? Can you hear me? They, they're clicking. Oh, oh yeah, I can neat. hear you pressing it. They have a separate clicking sound other than the uh, uh, actual button sounds. Oh, that's nice. And there's volume up buttons, volume down, play, pause, back and forward and menu button, uh, like a, a round ring kind of thing. That's very interesting that this TV does not have any um, channel buttons. You could tell that this is meant to be a streaming television set. What do we have here? You know, I find it interesting. Everybody's pushing more towards internet TV, internet TV, internet TV. Yet we're all still capped from our ISPs. Not all ISPs are capped. Well, okay, true, but like Comcast, for example. They're a big one. They're capped. I think Mediacom is capped. Suddenly capped. I found a... AT&T versus capped. A mounting bracket? Uh, Spectrum is not. Yeah, I think these are the uh, brackets that hold the TV to, or where you can put the TV down on. It doesn't have a traditional base. I am just hoping my little TV stand will hold it. Me too, because that old TV pretty much takes it all up. Well, either way, we're all in now. Okay. So I think... I wonder what you would do if you ended up getting actual TV and needed the element to use. Yeah, like I wonder that, that too. Do I? If you got real cable and Or even terrestrial television. Right. And needed the TV to show that. There's the gotta TV be a way to switch channels, I would think. There is. Somehow. Um actually 
the the way that it was demonstrated was you could just tell, uh, you know who. Lord to Voldemort. Go to channel thirty. Oh, cool. You know, that would be cool for things like DirecTV now. You could just say, Hey, Assistant, uh, turn on Animal Planet or Discovery Now or Discovery Family or something. You know, it's amazing how these binaural mics work. It just sounded like that dropped in my house. Yeah, I know. Here we go. Well, maybe not. This TV is very shiny and very, very thin. I'm assuming it's made out of some sort of like a polycarbonate plasticky thing. This has got to be the most uh, plasticky sounding unbox cast. We've ever done. Because it's not Apple. If that was Apple, it'd be like freaking heavy duty cardboard, wouldn't it? Yeah. And that TV wouldn't be plastic. Nah, it'd be aluminum. Mm -hmm. Aluminium. 7000 series aluminium. Although the Apple TV box is plastic. It is, you're right. This is true. As is the, well, that's a router, but still. I was going to say, as, the air, as is the airport router line. This puppy has two USB ports and a whole bunch of four uh, HDMI. Wow. So you could have your Apple TV and your and your Roku and your <laughs> whatever you wanted. Uh, Xbox. Xbox. I'm assuming that on the back of it or on some edge of it there are like RCA things and something like that, or at least a three point five stuff if you wanted to connect it to speakers that weren't HDMI capable. Indeed. Okay. There's also even uh, a uh, Ethernet jack on this TV. Hmm. Now, does this support Wi-Fi AC? I'm guessing. I would hope. Okay, I found the mounting screws. And the batteries for the remote. Which are AAA. Hmm. Now one thing I will comment on on this TV is that the back is metal. Interesting. I feel like it's in front of us. It is. About to fall on our heads. is currently sitting in my lap. I'm mounting the brackets on it now. Fortunately, 
I keep a lot of screwdrivers around. That happens to be running for me while I do this. I could just imagine under the related items thing for the Elements TV, they have the proper screwdrivers and stuff. You could just buy everything. So is the 50-inch TV the biggest one they offer? No. They offer a... I think a... Um, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. They also offer a... Um, 65, I think. God, those TVs are huge. Well, that was confirmed. I was doing it wrong. The timing of that tone was impeccable. All this stuff that's required... Just to turn it on, right? Isn't that how it always goes with TVs, though? Yeah. One bracket on. But now, I know how this thing goes. So that whole thing you were saying about manuals, why you should keep them. Right, Aaliyah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a manual person. I'm really not. I'm not either. I'm really, really not. I am, but only for specific things. Like, I essentially taught myself how to use um, voiceover for iOS by reading the manual back in the day. without even having an iOS device in front of me. Which sounds like more of an accomplishment than it is, because I'm sure most people know how you know easy iOS devices are generally to use with voiceover. But still. And I like it when you get a, a device such as this, that everything that you have to attach, screw in, whatnot lines up or that they give you the screws that you need in the first place yes it's really frustrating when you get a device and you need to you know screw something onto something else and they give you zero screws Okay, so I'm plugging in the TV. The age old question Will it play shiny music? No, it only plays doll music. If Michael can get it plugged in. Right. It is plugged in. Let there be power. Powering it on. I'm assuming I'm powering it on now. <laughs> Does the TV actually have buttons on the wow. TV itself? That's beautiful. Yes, the, but the TV does have buttons. Nice. It says Element, then Amazon Fire TV. Um, excuse you? That was mm -hmm. not the TV, guys. No, it was not. What was that? 
That was my tablet. That was her tablet. It was going to reboot randomly. That was but that was the TV, TV, I assume. Why was the tablet rebooting? It's not running iOS 11. No, it's running Android, remember? Yeah, I know. I'm aware that you're scanning. It almost sounds like the echo beep. When the echo... Like, comes yeah, it's in searching for the controller. Mm-hmm. Based on that beep, though, the speakers already seem like they sound a little better than what I was afraid they would sound like. It sounds like they're in the back. I hope not. They're at the bottom. Oh. It's actually not necessarily a bad thing. What are you doing, Michael? Putting the batteries in the remote from the sounds of it. From what I saw online, it looks like to enable voice view, if it's enableable, because it did say that it would only work for some models. It said you would need to hold down the menu and back buttons for two seconds. Okay, so I'm about to try that. Did not, if that's the menu button, although let me close my laptop screen a little bit. Voice view ready. Welcome to voice view on TV. If you start voice view accidentally, press the back button to turn off voice view. So that's who they're using. On your remote to begin a brief voice view tutorial. The play pause button is the middle button in the bottom row of three small buttons. So that's the same voice that comes on the fire tablets as well. I have one of Sally. I thought they used Kendra on those. Nope. Same one. Ah. Voice view tutorial. Are you new to voice view on TV? Press the play pause button on your remote to continue the tutorial. The locating buttons on your remote. The small button in the top right corner of your remote is the power button. The small button just below and to the left is the microphone button. You can press and hold the microphone button to search by voice or make an Alexa request. Below this is a row of three small buttons with a slight arc. From left to right is the back button, home button, and menu button. Below this, the large round button inside a ring is the select button. The ring around the select button is the navigation ring and is used to navigate up, down, left, and right. Below the large round button is another row of three small buttons with a slight arc. From left to right is the rewind button, play slash pause button and fast forward button. Below this is a large horizontal button. The left side is volume down. The right side is volume up. Below this are three vertical buttons to provide quick access to apps. From top to bottom is the Prime Video button, Netflix button, and Amazon Music button. Press select to continue, or any other key to hear this description again. Explore your remote. Press any key on your remote to hear its description. Press and hold select to stop exploring your remote and continue the tutorial. I think we know that's cool. The but large round button near that is the top cool. of your remote inside a ring. If you have a voice remote, the small button at the top of your remote is the microphone button. Please note that pressing the microphone, volume, prime video, Netflix, or Amazon music buttons will not provide a verbal description. Also, 
Since Voiceview utilizes the menu button, press it twice to perform the standard menu function. Hmm. Huh. I mean, that's good to know, but I still think it should describe those. Select. Chooses an item. Press and hold this button to stop it. Select. Chooses an item. Tips. Use the up and down buttons on your remote to read tips on the screen. When done, press and hold select to exit the tutorial. One of five. To enable or disable voice view from any screen, hold down the back and menu buttons for two seconds. Two of five. You can adjust reading speed and volume in settings. Three of five. Hold the menu button for two seconds to enter or exit a review mode. Review mode allows you to explore the screen including all on-screen text item by item using the left and right buttons. Four of five. In review mode, you can adjust the selected granularity by pressing up and down. For example, you could hmm. use up and down to set granularity to character and use left and right to spell a word. Five of five. Interesting. Press the play slash pause button to start. The play slash pause button is the middle button in the bottom row of the three small buttons. They like to give the hints, don't they? They sure do. Yeah, but, but I mean, I mean, if you're new, I'd to rather the remote, them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming you could turn those off though. Hey, and you don't have to describe the remote. For networks. So we've typed in the Wi-Fi password. Checking for updates. It's checking for updates to the system. Successfully registered. Hi, Michael Doyce. Your TV is registered to Michael Doyce. Do you want to use this account? Yes. Continue as Michael Doyce. Button. That she really almost cool. says your name. Uh, well, more importantly than that, I like that Amazon does this. When you get a device from them, they already configure it before it leaves production. Save yeah, that's really cool. Passwords to Amazon. Wi-Fi passwords entered on this device will be saved to Amazon to help you connect your compatible devices. To learn more, visit www. No, yes. Your Amazon Fire TV is designed with kids and parents in mind. Parental controls allow you to acquire a pin before playing videos from live TV, Amazon, or purchasing videos, apps, or in-app items using Amazon One Click. Your selection below will apply to Live TV. Enable parental control. No parental control. Checking network speed. Welcome to your new TV, Amazon Fire TV Edition. In the next few minutes, we'll take you on a quick tour that shows you how you can watch live and streaming content and introduces you to your voice remote with Alexa. Fire TV Edition is a smart Cancel. TV Trigger that gives warning. you direct access to live television, <laughs> popular apps, games, Alexa skills, and a Cancel. whole lot more. You can stream your favorite shows and movies and access live broadcasts directly from the home screen. It's easy. Simply plug in an HD antenna, go to Inputs, Antenna, and then scan for available channels. Once complete, you can view what's on now right from the home screen or select channels using the on-screen channel guide. You can easily switch to other inputs like gaming consoles, cable, or Blu-ray using your voice. To go back to the home screen at any time, just press the home button. Need to adjust the TV settings or check out your channel guide? Press and hold the home button to access a variety of preferences, options, and settings. Your Fire TV Edition voice remote includes Alexa, the brain behind Amazon Echo, you can use your voice to launch apps, search for content, control smart home devices, and more. Just press and hold the microphone button to talk to Alexa. You can search by title, actor, or category like this. Find dramas. Launch right into the movie by saying, play Manchester by the Sea." Alexa is always getting smarter. With thousands of skills, Alexa can even help you get ready for movie night. Order a pizza with the Domino skill and control supported smart home devices like this. Dim the living room lights. Take your TV experience even further with Amazon Prime. Get unlimited access to tens of thousands of popular movies and TV shows. You can even add monthly video subscriptions to your Prime membership, including live and on-demand streaming from HBO, Showtime, and Stars. And as always, 
free two-day shipping. Enjoy your new Amazon Fire TV edition. Welcome, your TV experience simplified, delivering true to life, 4K UHD picture quality. Your new Amazon Fire TV edition provides access to live over the AO TV and connects to your devices through HDMI, component, or composite. When signed into your Amazon account, you can enjoy access to a world of entertainment, easily discovering and exploring all the content that you love. Use your voice remote with Alexa to control playback. Launch apps, change channels, find programs, and more. See things to try under the Alexa menu and settings to help you get started. Continue button. Search one of seven, seven items. Okay, Three, this two, thing is set seven. up. TV tips for fast access to TV settings. Press and hold for two seconds. Use left and right to move between items. Main menu. Contains top-level choices such as search, home, movies, and settings. When an item is selected, the lower portion of the screen updates to contain related content. Okay, let's explore the main menu. Thursday Night Football, 1 of 7. Well, and as I'm moving through things, it's showing previews up at the top. Your apps and games, not Thursday night football, one of seven. Alexa, find Curb Your Enthusiasm, two of seven. Cancel. Alexa, play Curb Your Enthusiasm. Here's Genius Kitchen, three of seven. <laughs> watch Pole Dark with Masterpiece on Amazon channel. Four, watch UFC 216. Baby Driver, six of watch UFC 216. Thursday night football. Alexa, find your apps and games. Netflix. Cancel. Use up and down to move between ca Amazon Music, Prime Photos, Hulu, Live, Sling Television, YouTube, Showtime, Smithsonian Earth, HBO Now, Crackle, Premium, See All. See All. So. See your full crack. Netflix, Amazon Original Series, 10 Star Season 1, Ultra HD, Prime, Button, Transparent, See 10 Star Season 1, Feature Daps and Games, UFC, Button, NFL, Button, Genius Kitchen, Snake, Super Space, Button, Nick for Fire TV, Direct TV Now, Button, CBS News, Oh, Fire cool. Blue, live and On Demand, Button, Audible for Fire TV, Button. Oh, that's cool. Michael's going to be reading his book on, TV. on his TV now. Well, with speakers like that, do you blame him? Audible has the world's oh, largest they're pretty nice. man car trolley. Button. Showtime. Button. CW. They kind of remind me of the iMac. TV. Button. Boomerang Fire TV. Button. A and D. Button. WWE Network. NFL Sunday Ticket. Button. Discovery Go. Five Parker's Bazaar. Tennis Channel. Button. Local Now. Button. Your channels. Prime. Button. Amazon channels, HBO, Button, Stars, Button, Showtime, Button, Cinemax, PBS Kid, Britbox, Button, Full Screen, Button, PBS Master, Acorn TV, Shutter, Button, Urban Movie Channel, Anime Strike, Hera, Button, Tribeca Shortlist, Comic Con HQ, Sundance Now, Button, Horror TV, Button, Pena, Button, See All Channels, Button, Recommended Movies, Me Before You, Prime, The Magnificent Seven, Hot Pursuit, Prime, Button. That's a bunch of those. This week on Fire TV, NBC Sports, Button, Epics, Button, Showtime, Button, UFC, Button, Featured TV, Outlander, Button. And what I'm doing is just going down and then left Outlander, and right. Outlander, Top Free Games, Crossy Road, Button, Red Ball 4, Button, Hungry Shark, Involute, Hill Climb Racing, Hot Wheels, Pac-Man 256, Disney Crossy Road, Hangman Word Game, Covercraft. Deer Hunter Classic, but The Crossing Dead, but Beach Buggy Racing, Tic Tac Toe, but 4K Ultra HD TV, 10 Star Season 1, Ult Transparent, 1 Mississippi Season The Tick, Ultra H Comrade Detective Season, Recommended Apps and Games, Netflix, but Tiki Live, Button, Hulu, Live Hovercraft, Crackle, Print Pandora, Button, Innovative TV, Plex, 
button, fast button, off screen receiver, but showtime, button, fire DL, button, web app tester, button, word search free, but weight loss, but no TV plus, Amazon shopping, button, recommended TV, curb your enthusiasm, popular movies, then her. Featured movies and top rated TV, the latest TV, American Horror Story, Cult, The Orville Season 1, The Blacklist, The Vietnam War, Grey's Anatomy, Teen Mom Tooth, Broad Cities, The Real Housewives of All, This Is Us, C The Big Bang Theory, Top, The Latest TV, The Big Bang Theory, Big Bang Theory, by Episode 1 HD, $2.99, oh. 1 of 5. Y'all know I had to come in here, right? Of course. Details. Contains info about a video or app. Latest TV. The Big Bang Top. Home. Two of your videos. Three movies. TV shows. Apps. Six of seven settings. Seven of seven. This is very easy to navigate. Inputs. One of four. Notifications. Two of network. Three of twelve. Display and sounds, applications, bot settings, set, Oops. controllers, and Bluetooth Alexa. Seven of references, eight of twelve device, nine of twelve accessibility, ten of twelve accessibility. Cancel. Closed caption, one of three. Voice view, closed caption. Voice view, high contrast text. Cancel. Experimental. Off, three of three. Cancel. Changes text to black or white and adds a voice view high contrast text. Experimental. Off. Three of voice view. Two of three. Voice view screen. Reading speed. One X. Normal. Two of seven. Dot sixty six X. Slowest. Not checked. One of dot eight text. One X. No, one dot twenty five X. Not one dot five X. Not reading speed. One dot five X. Two of seven. Speech volume, 40% of device volume, 3 of 7. Wow. Adjust the sounds volume, 40% of device volume, key echo, characters, 5 of 7, punctuation level, sum, voice view tutorial, 7 of 7, punch. That just voice means view, that the device is very speed, loud. 1.5x, 2 of 7. Right. Voice view, reading speed, 1.5x, speech volume, 40% of the sounds key echo, punctuation level, sum, accessibility, voice view, high contrast text, experimental, voice closed caption, 1 of 3. Accessibility. Tip help. 11 of 12. Accessible help. 11 of 12. My account. 12 of 12. Help. 11 of 12. Accessible. Good. I'll continue. Okay. This is not 4. In. Settings. 7 of 7. Apps. 6 of 7. Your videos. 3 of 7. Home. 2 of 7. Okay. So the, there's only one more thing I want to demonstrate. <clears throat> And while I love this TV, all the inputs are, sadly, on the other end. So I'm hoping... I'm not going to be getting one of these because we already have a TV, as I said before, but I kind of want one. Although, honestly, just give me, like, the TV without the ability to receive um, cable and terrestrial broadcasts. Just give me a device like that.
And just so people know, the TV has huge speakers that come out from the bottom. Change inputs. Sorry, I'm not able to send that. Home to your seven. Change devices. Discovery is complete. I couldn't find any smart home devices. Home to your seven. You have to tell it what to change the input change to. Change the Apple TV. I couldn't find Apple TV. Home to your seven. Change to HDMI something. Change HDMI devices. I don't know how to set to that setting. Home to a seven. That's one thing it did not talk about was you how to, to change. Uh, yeah, I just HDMI told you you devices. could, didn't it? Uh, I know you can. Try one week free button. Home, I'm assuming you turned the Apple TV on. It's plugged in. Um, so, we cut for a little bit to mess with a few things and find some uh, things that were mo uh, moved during the unboxing, like the Apple TV remote, and we found some cool things. So now that I have the, H the Apple TV plugged in and turned on, I can do this. I can hold down the uh, voice button and say, switch to HDMI 1. Okay. Now, what we also found out that is really cool is that this remote can also be used as a Apple TV remote through, I think, the HDMI CEC standard. Because I can use the, the ring and the select button like this. Apps, HDMI, NOW, recently up music, row two, co podcast, row two, column, music, row, photos, row one, column five. Apps or row, TV shows, row, move, TV, row one, column one, movies, row one, column two. Selected, top movies, tab, two of five. Then I could go back with the back button. Movie. Now, I feel like this isn't as responsive as other TVs I've seen. Music, row two, HDMI, NOW, speed pass, row four, Apple events, row five. So I'm going to put the controller near my mic so you can hear how responsive. Sonic two, recent updated, Sling TV, recent updated, row seven, Sonic two, recent Apple events, row five, speed pass, row four, HDMI, NOW, music, row two. Call yeah, I'm using the TV. TV. Sorry. Row one, call. Now we'll try it with the Apple TV app. Flick. Well, if I didn't have it upside down. Uh, King Mark, Log, Twin, the Boga, T2, Jeremiah, Rock. Now see, for whatever reason, TV, row one, cop music, row two, I feel like this, row, search, for whatever row two, reason, on this TV row two, is not row very four. responsive. Settings, row two, HNO, NOW, settings, row, computers, row, search, row two, podcast, row two, column two. Photo, app, TV, TV. The Big Bang Theory, new episode, season 11, episode 2, 1 of 20. So, I feel like it's, I may have to play around with the settings. They may have like a game mode that you have to activate. But I feel like it's not as responsive as my Samsung TV. Now, what's cool is, I believe the Apple TV can turn this machine, this TV off. So I'm going to hold down on the button. Sleep now. Alert. Sleep now. Heading. This will also sleep. Cancel. Button. Sleep. Button. Guard wreck. Discovery. Screen off. So it just said screen off. Oh, wow. And it just hangs here. I don't know if the TV is powering down to sleep or what it's doing. Um, it seems like it kind of freezes here. We'll give it a second and see what it does. Because the, the 
voice view says screen off. Okay, it did turn all the way off. That's really cool. I have not owned a TV before that would let you turn it off with the Apple TV. So I'm going to press the power button on the Apple TV again. And switch. Does it actually say that on the screen? Uh, I don't know. So now it did go back there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to press home. Actually, no, what I'm going to do is while I'm in the Apple TV screen, I'm going to press the voice button and say home. 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 It brought me back to the home screen. So, apparently if you have Xboxes and other devices, you can they can be named. I thought it would name the Apple TV, but it has not yet. I don't know if, that's a, if there's a reason for that. I'm going to, pl to play with more settings, but this is really, really nice, folks. This is a nice TV. I highly recommend it. Um, I've had fun setting it up. The unboxing part was not as fun. Um, so, um, yeah. So, any final thoughts on this device or anything about it? Um, I really like the way those speakers sound. I don't remember if I said this before, but they, to me, they sound very reminiscent of the iMac, and I liked those speakers. Um, which is high praise coming from me because I don't really like a lot of speakers coming out of televisions, especially the newer ones. Um, I'm really glad that Amazon has included, I almost called it Fire something, I don't know why, Voice View. Um, and while I feel like those hints are a little verbose, I'm kind of glad that they exist, especially for somebody who's new to the TV. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, that's, that's, that's really cool. I wish our TV read stuff. I'm kind of bummed that they didn't include a way to turn off the hints. Um, yeah. But I could see that getting a little tedious. Yeah, I agree. I do agree with that. Uh, from a sighted perspective, this is an amazing looking TV. Amazing. I've never owned a 50 inch TV. And I'm really, really, really impressed with this thing. Um, this thing is pretty enough that I would probably even find an app that would show like different abstract lighting effects and different things and just have it on in the background while I'm working. I've had to put this thing on my desk because it wouldn't fit on my TV stand, which is a kind of a shame. Um, but I have put it up in front of where the laptop sits, or behind the where the laptop sits. And my MacBook actually still sits in front of the television without causing any problems. So I'm excited about that. And I could hook up the Mac and actually show presentations or different things from this TV. It's really nice. It's got an SD card slot, two USB uh, slots, and four HDMI. So it has enough ports for anything. And I mean anything you want to do with it. So um, highly recommend it. I like the, I don't like the base as much because it's two little uh, clamps, two little devices that you screw in that hold it um, up. I like more of the rounded base because those bases you can... Uh, um, sit on like the TV stand that I have and it would work but it is what it is and you kind of have to roll with it but I'm impressed I highly recommend it the TV itself is very thin uh, until you get to the back with the control box and the speakers at the bottom they are a lot thicker but um, yeah if you're looking for a TV that's accessible this is def this line is definitely the one to go with so that's my thoughts It's a trend that I hope more manufacturers adopt. Agreed. Well, 
And it's not the first, let's be honest. No, Google has it's not. done um, Android uh, TV, I think it's called. And uh, it has talk back and different things. But I live in the Apple and Amazon worlds uh, specifically. And I'm still very impressed with what they've done with this. So, uh, yeah, it's really cool. All right. Well, that about does it, unless anybody else has any further comments. I think that's it for me. Right. So, that's about... That'll do it for this episode of the IA Unbox Cast. I enjoyed this one. I cannot wait to keep playing with this TV. Um, it's really cool. Really like it. So, uh, yep. If we we're late on have more, hmm? I was just gonna say, if we're late on podcasts, guys, it's because Michael's watching his TV. You got it. <laughs> All right. So that'll do it. Uh, so, Jason, where can people find you online? People can find me writing articles and recording podcasts for iAccessibility. You can email me at jason at iAccessibility.net. You can follow me on Twitter at JDE, Juliet Delta Echo 91. You can add me to Skype. I'm not on very often, but my Skype name is JDE, Juliet Delta Echo 1991. Please tell me that you've found me from the IA cast when you add me. You can also search for me on Facebook. Just search for Jason Earls. All right. And Aaliyah, where can people find you online? You can find me writing articles and recording podcasts for eye accessibility. You can follow me on Twitter at blindcowgirl199, or you can email me at Aaliyah, that's A-L-E-E-H-A, at iaccessibility.net. Awesome. And you could find me writing articles and being on podcasts for eye accessibility on the IACast network. You can find me on Twitter at Mike Doeys. I'm on Facebook. Just search for Michael Doeys. And you can go to my website at michaeldoeys.com and email me at mikedoeys at iaccessibility.net. That's M-I-K-E-D-O-I-S-E at iaccessibility.net. You can find iAccessibility by going to iaccessibility.net. We are on Twitter as iaccessibility1. You can search for us on Facebook. Just search for iAccessibility. And we're all over the web with our social media uh, accounts and all that good stuff. So, you know, like Tumblr, all that good stuff. So you can find us there as well. You can also find us in our nice new app. Uh, it's not really shiny anymore. It's just new. <laughs> so on iOS, look for iAccessibility in the App Store, and we'll be there. Uh, you can get information about our shows, our podcasts, and our products from the app. So please go check it out, and uh, we hope that you will download that. And we also hope that you'll take a minute and a few dollars of your time and head over to patreon.com slash IACast and uh, pledge a few dollars or whatever you can to support our shows to keep us on the air. We really appreciate it. and. Uh, that'll go a long way to bringing you guys more content uh, on a regular basis. And who knows? It may even help us get more shows. So uh, please do that and if you can. And we hope to see you around the Internet on Twitter and different places. Don't forget to email us if you have any feedback at feedback at iaccessibility.net. That's correct. Awesome. All right. That'll do it for this episode of the show. Uh, thank you guys for being a part of it. I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. And we will have more unboxings soon. So uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Copyright 2017, iAccessibility, and Michael Doeys.